Biggest Rap Beefs of 2020 It is almost impossible for the hip-hop industry to thrive without feuds and rappers throwing shots at each other. Others even take their differences a notch higher by getting into physical altercations. But the truth is, when rappers decide to beef, the best place to settle the score is through the mic. Over the years, hip-hop fans have been treated to a number of epic feuds, from Tupac and Biggie's beef to Nas and Jay-Z. Today in this video, we will show you the biggest rap beefs of 2020. Personally, I feel the fourth one has some weight. Keep watching to find out why. But before we begin, show us some love by clicking on the subscribe button for more of our content. Let's get it on. French Montana vs. Young Thug Two rappers who are currently on top of their game decided to flex their hate muscle to find out who is the best at it. These two established stars have been beefing for some time now. They started back in 2019, and it appears their fans are in for some fun times. Their deep-seated rivalry is always highlighted by DJ Academics, the certified hip-hop whistleblower. The beef started when French Montana took to Instagram and posted that he had more hits than Kendrick Lamar. A very damning statement, I must admit. This statement opened a can of worms with Kendrick fans lashing out at French Montana, who they claimed is nothing close to the mighty Kendrick. One of the guys who seriously took offense at this post was Young Thug, and he decided to weigh his opinion on it a move that seemed to anger Montana. To show his frustration with Young Thug, French Montana took to Instagram and posted a picture of Thug wearing a dress. Crazy, right? Thug, in immediate response, claimed French had blocked him on Instagram because he feared him, and that the dressed guy wasn't him. Not willing to go down quickly, Young Thug decided to bring in the third party, none other than Meek Mill, the beef master. Thug asked Meek to post a video of French getting knocked out, it didn't end there, with French Montana responding to Young Thug saying, if Meek Mill has the video, he'll give Thug a million dollars. It even got to a point when Thug tells French Montana's fans to go and stream his new song, That's a Fact, claiming that he needs it. He was taking shots at French Montana's single that took time to pick up on the charts. The beef is boiling, and fans should expect much more to be served. Stormzy vs. Wiley who said hip-hop beef is confined within American borders? Shelve that thought for a minute and let's cross over to the UK and see how two of their biggest rap acts, Stormzy and Wiley, are doing. Well, I'm afraid the answer is not what many would expect. They are beefing, and a solemn one for that matter. This epic beef boiling up within the Queen's jurisdiction all started when Stormzy tweeted that he would battle Wiley on any station he wanted and would bury him for all the UK hip-hop audience to hear. Wiley ignored the jive, but Stormzy appeared to provoke him even further by taking to Twitter again to post that Wiley was begging him even after taking so much smack to it. This was when Wiley appeared to have enough, firing back in a session of tweets and claiming Stormzy was talking because he was outside the country. Wiley went ahead with his Twitter rant, saying that when he comes to London, he's going to battle Stormzy at the O2 Arena or the Eddie Hearn and even requested any volunteer to take charge of organizing the battle. Stay tuned and subscribe to our channel to find out how this battle will end. But one thing is for sure, this is the biggest battle in the UK since the Battle of Winterfell in Game of Thrones. Nicki Minaj vs Meek Mill a couple of years ago, no one would imagine these two rap superstars would get to a point of beefing. The former couple seems to go after each other's throats, knowing too well there are many secrets they share because of the time they spent together. Their beef started when Meek took a swipe at Nicki's husband, Kenneth Petty. The pink lady wasn't so impressed, so she decided to take Meek head on. On the 5th of February 2020, Minaj took their differences beyond being just an ex. This was after Meek liked a meme making fun of Petty. Nikki took to Instagram stories and posted, Yora, followed by a clown emoji. You do it for likes, hashtag Twitter fingers, beat women, scared men. Nikki went ahead to post a photo of Meek looking down at his phone, covering his face with an emoji clown. As expected, the Maybach Music signee did not take Nikki's move kindly. He took to Twitter to respond to Nikki's jime, posting, The only way you can try to kill my career is to say I beat women. Talk about your brother convicted of rape, and you knew, but still paid for his lawyer. Your little brother touched that little girl too. You know I know. You want me to crash with your boyfriend, but I won't. 
Vividly disgusted, Meek Mill continued his rampage by tweeting, You said you willing to crash your man because you losing now, and everybody in the industry knows you a bad person. You knew your little brother was raping that little girl. That's why I got away from you. We all know the Young Money rapper to be a tough lady, so of course you didn't expect her to coil her tail and leave, did you? She responded on Twitter by posting, You beat your own sister and taped it. Spit on her head and taped it. Kicked me in front of your mother and sent her to the hospital. Sucking Drake's d made you feel tough again. Move on. Their online chatter continued, much to the amazement for their fans. A true portrayal of friends turned enemies. This beef is not going down anytime soon. Mace vs Diddy Hip-hop in the 90s would be nothing without this dynamic bad boy duo of Mace and Diddy. Once bosom buddies, the two legendary rappers currently don't see eye to eye, courtesy of feud over publishing rights. In an Instagram post, Mace blasted Diddy over the speech he gave during 2019's Grammy Awards, particularly when he insinuated that he wanted artists to take back control of their work. That statement seemed to rub the welcome back singer the wrong way. He criticized Diddy over his past business practices and how he still has his publishing rights from when he was 24 years old. It is alleged that Diddy only hands Mace a $20,000 annual check for the numerous projects they did together over the years. Mace says all he wants is his publishing rights and further claimed that he once offered Diddy $2 million for the rights, but the bad boy CEO declined the offer. According to Mace, Diddy asked him to match an offer that was being floated by an unnamed European for the same rights. Mace says he felt really insulted. Diddy is yet to respond to the allegations, but it's clear that the Battle of the Titans is just getting started. Royce to 5-9 versus Yellow Wolf Yellow Wolf, this is your first and your last pass. I ain't gonna put it on blast, your punk ass know what this about. You think it's about being loud? These two hardcore rappers haven't been the best of friends. Let's just say they always read from different scripts all the time, as highlighted by their recent online wrangles. Yellow Wolf recently went on Instagram to announce he is dropping a video to his song You and Me, which was filmed in Detroit, the home turf of Royce to 5 9 In the caption, he appeared to take a dig at his musical nemesis by saying that numbers don't lie. In the same post, Yellow Wolf tells Eminem to get his hype man before the wolves do, referring to Royce as M's hype man. As expected, Royce hit back at Yellow Wolf, saying he could remove him quicker than he deleted his post. Yellow Wolf, seemingly bothered by the response, came back saying that he only wanted it one way, but it's the other way, meaning he is ready for whatever is happening. It will be interesting to see how this will end. Did you enjoy our video? Which rap beef do you think will end in premium tiers? Well, if you enjoyed our video, click on the subscribe button for more of our content. Please give us a like and share the video. If there's a rap beef that we haven't included, let us know by leaving a comment in the comment box below.